today I'm going to solve a really old puzzle. This is the Java T puzzle made by Toyo Glass of Japan in 1991. So that is 31 years ago. It is mostly made of glass except for the straw which is made out of plastic. There are 3 ice cubes and there are also 9 translucent brown pieces which are the T itself. The goal of the puzzle is to put all 13 pieces, including the straw, into the glass and basically fill the glass with iced tea. So let's start the clock and see how long it takes me to solve this 31 year old puzzle. The first thing I have to do is to find out which parts should be at the bottom and the middle layers and then how the ice cubes will fit into the translucent brown pieces. Here is a closer look of the ice cubes. And for the brown pieces, this one has a flat top, so this can be at the top of the T. This one fits quite nicely, and there's a hole in the middle, so I guess the eyes will protrude out there. It looks like it fits and makes a circular shape. And maybe this one. I need some flat shape to fill in the final gap for the top. This is a very old puzzle, so some pieces are damaged and chipped, however these should not affect the solution of the puzzle. So this piece here is relatively thinner, maybe it should fit, it looks very, it fits pretty well on the top. So at least now I have fitted three pieces together and made the top of the iced tea. Three down, six to go. I'll quickly show you the glass which is tapered at the end. So the shape of the bottom should be the thinnest. So now I have to find which pieces can make a smaller circle and fit at the bottom of the glass. So these two pieces look pretty okay. The interesting thing about this puzzle is that the pieces don't exactly match but they do fit quite well. So I can't be sure. I guess the best way is to just fit them into the cup and see if that works. So this one, it looks like it's at the bottom. It's quite a tight fit. So I have to take it out again and see which other pieces will fit together with this piece. Which should be the correct one. This one looks pretty okay. And now we're just missing one piece at the corner. This one here, it's too big. So I don't think it will fit at the bottom and this one is also a bit too big. Let's try again. So this one puts in at the bottom and I can place the second piece here. Yep, and there should be space for one more and this is the smallest piece and I should be able to put, yep, so the bottom layer is done. I can see there's a little hole in the middle and I think that's for the straw, yep. So now it makes sense, 9 pieces, 3 pieces on each layer and there are 3 layers for the Java T itself. This one has quite a rounded top, it can be placed here. And there's a big hole in the middle of the middle layer, so that should be for the ice cube. But which ice cube? Maybe this one? I don't know, for the ice cubes it's a little bit more complicated, maybe I have to figure out the whole brown pieces first because all the cubes seem to be fitting quite well. Okay, after fitting the ice cube in the first one, I can try and place the T on top and see if that works. Because even though they don't fit 100%, if the ice cube is the wrong one, there will be a huge gap between the pieces, so I know that is not correct. I can try and fit the top of the ice cubes to this brown piece to make sure it's the correct one. All the shapes of the ice cubes are different, so Let's see, this one looks quite correct. And when I place a brown piece in, there's a huge gap between the brown pieces, so that won't work. The placement of the ice cubes can actually be quite complicated as they can be placed in 12 different orientations. But luckily, it's easy to work out if the bottom or the top should go in first, which eliminates eight possible orientations. But the remaining four can still be deceiving. So after trying all of the ice cubes, I think this is the correct one and we can move on to complete the middle layer. This tall piece here connects the middle layer and the top layer, so it goes in like this. Again, I think the brown pieces are relatively easy to work out, but it's the ice cubes which are the difficult part for this puzzle. That has a flat surface and now I have to work out which ice cubes goes where and the puzzle should be solved. 
it's obvious that the ice cube should place in this hole but which one I'm not so sure and in which direction it seems that the ice cube the fat side should be facing downwards otherwise it will not work okay after trying for a few moments maybe placing the straw in before the ice cubes will help because the straw does interact with the ice cubes a little bit not a lot but maybe it helps as a guide okay so i can place this ice cube here and then place the remaining two brown pieces on the top and this ice cube goes somewhere like this i don't know just try okay is this is this <laughs> it's obviously not it is it the corner which is protruding from the top doesn't seem like so maybe it's the wrong ice cube i should take out the first ice cube just basically take everything out and start all over again okay i've changed all the orientations of the ice cubes and this is the last one and i figured out that actually it's the last ice cube should be bottom up like this and i place it in here and in here and yes i think i've solved it wait the straw and can i put this in yep yes should be all done it's all flat solved in less than 15 minutes but let's see let's just check all the gaps are reasonable and we have a flat top so we have solved it to be honest i thought this was going to be easier and i expected to solve it within 10 minutes but the ice cubes proved to be quite tricky and i'm very happy to be able to solve this in 15 minutes this is certainly not the hardest puzzle I have solved on this channel, but certainly one of the most unique in terms of how it looks when solved, just fit for the summertime. Have you solved any of the other puzzles in the series? Let me know in the comments below. And that's about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. This is Downtime Fun signing off and I'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you.